Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, January the 4th uh, is the day before the new Congress takes up. There'll be swearing in of new members tomorrow, and uh, I'll be sworn in for a new term in the United States Senate. I feel very lucky to be able to represent the good people of Iowa and the United States Senate. It's quite a challenge, but a challenge that I welcome. I thank you very much for joining us on Ask Chuck webcast. Uh, again, uh, we invite your questions on Facebook and uh, Twitter uh, and email. And I'll go to questions on, uh, that we've received and I answer usually two or three questions uh, each webcast. The extent to which we uh, don't answer your question, you'll receive answer in writing. I'll go to the first question from Crystal in Anamosa. Where are the jobs? Well, I wish I could give you some really good news about jobs. And remember, even though you're in Iowa and the situation might look bleak there as per your question, I hope you understand that the unemployment rate in Iowa is much lower than the nation as a whole. And some states have unemployment as high as 12 or 13 percent. So we're fairly fortunate in Iowa, but uh, still it's an issue that we need to deal with in Iowa and in the nation as a whole. And uh, when I said I don't have good news, uh, there may be things happening right now that are too close to some decisions that Congress made that may be uh, good news, but still not a very dramatic decrease in unemployment. But one of the things that's out there that keeps people, meaning small business and big business, from hiring is the uncertainty of a lot of things that go on in Washington. One of those uncertainties were uh, eliminated uh, in December when we decided to continue existing tax policy, in other words, not increase anybody's taxes that would have happened otherwise if we hadn't acted for the next two years. It would have been better if we'd done it for the long haul. Uh, this may uh, encourage a lot of businesses that were holding up because they thought their taxes were going to be increased to hi start hiring. And there's some evidence from some of the bigger corporations that have accumulated about two trillion dollars in cash in their treasuries that they're now willing to invest some of that and that would create jobs as well. We also have to look at too much government regulation and not so much the regulation that's already there but the fact that this administration has threatened uh, to do by regulation what Congress hasn't passed by law. Uh, and uh, if, if they get away with that, that'll probably dampen uh, the possibility for creating jobs because more regulation is more cost and more cost is less jobs. In other words, higher taxes is a tax on employment, uh, high, more regulations increases the cost of business and less employment. So hopefully we can turn that around. I'll go now to a question from Adam, a graduate student at the University of Northern Iowa, tweets, uh, Justice Roberts called on both parties to solve vacancies. Is there a bipartisan plan to fix a problem? Not yet, I hope there will be a bipartisan plan, but you gotta remember this, that uh, a lot of partisanship started uh, when Justice Thomas, before he was confirmed, uh, and other Supreme Court justices in the 80s, uh, became very political. But Senator Hatch took over the Judiciary Committee in the 1990s, and he suggested for Republicans not to go down that road. So we got several justices approved for the courts that were fairly liberal but got them approved by wide margins because everybody thought that we shouldn't uh, repeat the mistakes that the Democrats did against Justice Thomas uh, and other ones at that particular time. But early last decade, 2001-2002, uh, Senator Schumer, and then later on when he was a senator, Senator Obama, said that ideology and not just their attributes to be a good justice ought to play a role. And in fact, President Obama has added to that that justices ought to have empathy. This brings a whole lot of ideology beyond just their capability to be a judge into it. 
And as long as we have this sort of attitude towards who's going to be appointing judgeships, as opposed to there just being an impartial justice, it seems to me we're not going to reach a bipartisan agreement. Uh, and uh, Republicans are a little bit reluctant to go back to where we were in 1990 of eliminating partisanship when we feel like we've been uh, double-crossed when Democrats uh, take over, uh, they decide to make it more partisan. So uh, I think that your question's a good question. I think that we should have the tradition of this country for 200 years until about 2001 or 2002 where politics didn't play a very major role in the selecting of justices, but I think it's going to be a while till we get back to that point, I'm sorry to say. Uh, Adam, I'd like to give you my own personal view of what I mean uh, when I think a judge ought to be unbiased uh, and an ideology should not play a part. Uh, I want people appointed to the courts that are not going to have the empathy that the president talks about because people that have empathy put personal points of view into a decision. Uh, we need to have justices that are like Lady Justice over the portal of the Supreme Court blindfolded holding the scales of justice. In other words, justice should only be dispensed based upon what the law says and on what uh, the facts are in the case and nothing to do with the personal views of the justice making the decision. I usually at this point uh, give some analysis of what's coming up on the floor of the Senate this week. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have any legislation this week. It's going to be mostly the ceremonial swearing in uh, and, uh, and, and adopting rules and some uh, housekeeping sort of things. One issue that might come up that's not legislation but dealing with the rules of the Senate would be whether or not we ought to continue the filibuster or not. Maybe the only webcast until we get back uh, after Martin Luther King's a birthday and the president gives his speech getting back to about the 20th of January I believe. I'll be in Iowa uh, during the two weeks uh, to be involved with town meetings, um, making the process of representative government work uh, for the 31st year of my being in the Senate, continuing my uh, crusade of getting to every county every year to have dialogue with constituents in a town meeting atmosphere.